everybody. So um, here we are. For dinner. For we dinner. We stopped in Sevierville yep. at Five Oaks. Yeah, one of our favorite places. Well, at least one of my favorite places anyway. So follow us. Let's see what we're getting tonight. It's cool outside out here. Got all kind of stuff. Now, in the winter time, that's nice. I don't know about this time of year. But welcome to the farm. We're going this way. All right, let's take a look at this menu. Salads, soup, smokehouse, farm table. Their sides. And then they have other stuff for sale. That was pretty quick going through that menu. Potato soup. And I don't even have my spoon ready. I'm slacking. Slack a lacking. They always serve you um, your free soup with your meal. There we go. There's my spoon. There you can see the potatoes in that. And, and lucky me, I actually get two of them because this is way not keto for Stephanie. Yay, me. Okay. I got the chicken salad salad. Looks like it's got some okra, some hard boiled eggs, red beets, some pecans, yep. Thousand Island and ranch dressing, and a big scoop of chicken, chicken salad. salad. Yeah. Yep. And I got the old pork plate with the potato salad and coleslaw. To me, it looks like a plate and there's a little bit of pulled pork on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, quite a heaping of it on some Texas toast. And that's pickled okra. Yep, I'm a member of the Clean Plate Club. Guess what I'm a member of? Guess what I'm a member of? What are you a member of? I'm a member of Take It Home, Save It For Later. Uh, that's what, uh, yep. Or two for one, or whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's delicious, by the way. Yes, but pretty cool in here. Oh, which I'll show you, they have an upstairs too, which I'll try to show you. Yeah, the music is really intriguing. It's fun. It's fiddle music, old timey fiddle music. Yep. I love it here. And a nice view out our window. Decorations in here are really cool. Aren't the decorations cool? Love them. Yep. I'm not. No, I'm not going to go up the steps, but just to show you, there is an upstairs. It's just kind of cool. So this is the couple that opened up their property to passerbys as an inn, I guess, and they would feed them. And that's where this came from, the Five Oaks Farm um, kitchen. Kitchen it. Yeah, it's cool. So they have spots to sit out here, and uh, you 
this is pretty cool. That wasn't a chickadee, but that was funny. So, mm. got some full bellies. That was excellent chicken salad. And um, the bed of salad that they brought it out on is called a co-op salad. And it had seeds and- Everything. And bacon and eggs and beets and some things I wasn't able to eat, to eat. and um, then the everything's hand prepped. So that's tearing the lettuce that comes in the head. It doesn't come in a bag. Yep. And um, pickling their beets and their eggs. And they wash everything here. Uh -huh. um, they hand cut the potatoes for the soup and for the for the go go with the potato salads homemade. Yep. You love the potato salad. Yeah, so um, I got that pulled pork plate, or platter, I think it was called. Um, phenomenal. Um, it didn't look like a lot. If you ask me, you saw the plate. It looked like a pile on top of some bread and two sides. Right. Because the plate was it's so enormous. Huge. Yeah. But you were full. Yeah, I'm full. That was a lot of meat yep. piled on. A uh, nice size piece of homemade bread. Texas toast. Um, their potato salad here, I, to me personally, I think it's the best potato salad I've had out anywhere. That's any restaurant, any supermarket, any anywhere. We have been here before, and he mm -hmm. has said that before. Yeah. And you still feel that way? Yep. Wow. Um, they're, I didn't get them today, but their ribs are phen phenomenal. Um, the pulled pork is very good. Um, then I had the coleslaw, which is great. Um, n not, I prefer mine a little creamier, but flavor wise, it's, it's perfect. He puts vinegar on everything. So he liked the homemade flavors of home cooking where you add the vinegar on to things like coleslaw and yeah. And a little in the barbecue sauce side. Right. So um, our bill was forty six dollars. Yep, forty six dollars. That's an excellent. Yeah, for here on the Parkway, that's that's so great. So that's three meals he got, and two meals from my salad, yep. and anybody could do that. I mean, if you, you. Yeah, your salad was very big. Use your proportions wisely. Anybody could do that. You could double your yep. food portions for the money. It's, it's a beautiful restaurant inside and out. Yes, it is, and it's well run. Our server today's name was Bo, yep. and he was a Southern gentleman. Yeah, he, he was wonderful. He did great. Very friendly, very accommodating. He actually gave me a full-size coffee to take home with me. Yep. And, um, I mean, that's service. That's yep. very, very accommodating. And um, we thought we had a, a great um, experience here today, didn't we, honey? Yeah. Now they're there's they start you off with uh, potato cream of potato soup. Yep, that's their thing. Is their homemade cream right. of potato. Now, I will say this: I would put it up against any of the surrounding restaurants' soup. I got a thing for the Mills. Yeah, like Stephanie <laughs> likes the Mills soup. Soup. Um, I personally think this soup is a lot better, and I really like the vegetable soup at uh, the apple um, the apple barn uh, but but this is this is probably the best soup uh, in my in my opinion I think it's a great idea um, to give your set your um, restaurant apart by doing something special like having your own recipe for your starter yep. and um, a lot of the restaurants as you know um, that we're finding out do that down here and now this isn't a complaint um, but their menu is very small if and I could see certain folks looking over their menu and saying well there's there's nothing here I like 
or there's nothing here that I can eat. I think they keep to their specialities. Right, but like for Stephanie, she had to break her keto diet because they really don't have anything that fits that. So the chicken salad that I got, I didn't necessarily break it, but on the chicken salad was beets and croutons. Right, when there was grapes in the... Oh, was there? Yeah. I didn't notice. Yeah, was there? I didn't think um, he noticed. Yeah. I was going to get so, away with something. Um, and then with the Thousand Island dressing, that kind of... Oh, well. That broke it also. So she went over her 20 grams of carbs we'll see, today. We'll I'm see sure. how I feel tonight because apparently when you're in ketosis and then you step outside of um, anything that could break that ketosis, um, I, I've noticed I've felt a little wonky. A little weird and um, that's just my system rebalancing maybe and um, I have to start all over again but we'll see but how two, I feel after dinner two thumbs up the five oaks five oaks amazing yep. and service was fantastic if you haven't eaten here we highly, highly recommend, recommend it yep. it's here on the Parkway Dolly what are we on the Parkway yeah um, in Sevierville yeah so if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and um, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have, have a, a Stephanie day. day.